Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, we'll be comparing, what do you say, uh, Intel Core i7 laptops with the new Ryzen uh, 7 laptops. And I was also very curious to see the real world performance difference. So yes, I'll be showing you some benchmark results also, but uh, I conducted some real world performance tests. For example, uh, I, this is the, uh, what do you say, Mi Horizon uh, book that comes with the latest uh, Intel Core i7. That's the 10th generation processor. This is the latest from Intel and I also have this Asus uh, Vivo book uh, uh, that I had uh, posted unboxing and overview of this one a couple of weeks back. This one has the new Ryzen 7 4700U uh, processor. Uh, so again both are ultra books and uh, this is the best you can get uh, from Intel in ultra book and this is sort of the best you can get from AMD. So I was also very curious what's the difference between this Intel uh, uh, processor that's the Intel Core i7 versus the AMD 4700U. I also wanted to actually compare it with the AMD 4500U. Uh, I don't have a laptop but a good friend of mine actually has a what do you say a Lenovo 4500U laptop. So I asked him to run some benchmark tests. So I'll include that in the later part of the video and let's see uh, the results. And guys again I won't get into depth regarding the configuration of this me laptop I've already done it's a review in fact I would say this one has undue advantage the SSD is actually faster on this one can go read speeds can go as high as about 3 gigabytes and this also has a dedicated NVIDIA MX350 GPU whereas uh, this Asus Vivo book does not have any external GPU and the SSD is also slightly slower at about 1.6 to 1.7 gigabytes but again these are specs let's look at the results and see which one is faster in real world so guys here if you have the laptop this is the me laptop that has the core i7 from intel and uh, this is the asus uh, uh, that has the ryzen 4700u and uh, i'm doing some real world tests we have a 5 gb video file on both of them it's a 4k file that i shot with the gh5 and i'm going to run handbrake and as you can see uh, we are going to do this test on battery and i've kept it on best performance on both of uh, them so let's do that and i'm going to run handbrake and convert both these uh, uh, files to 1080p and uh, we'll see actually which one does uh, better I have both the 4k files and we are going to convert it to the fast uh, 1080p 30 and see which one does it uh, faster so I've hit and let's see the timing and in this test actually guys which one does faster is actually better and both are actually started so let's see which one does better this is a realistic test and we'll also do one more and uh, I'll let you guys know which one did faster. So guys, it's just crossed seven minutes now. And uh, this one, the Ryzen one is almost 95% done, it says. Just 18 seconds more. And this one is still just on 44%. So way slower, I would say. And uh, this should be done any minute now. The Ryzen one, the Ryzen 7. 97 per 99% 99.9 done so it finished in 7 minutes 35 seconds and this is still continuing so we'll wait so guys we just crossed 16 minutes on this Intel Core i uh, laptop and now it's about 98 uh, percent uh, so definitely and if you recall this one took just about 7 minutes 35 seconds so more than double I would say now it's 99.3 so this should be done anytime now 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 this will just go off the green just finish 16 minutes 35 seconds now doing one more real world test this is the Cinebench R20 zip file that's a 222 MB zip file and we're going to do the same thing we're going to extract both of them and see which one is doing faster because we do zip uh, out files pretty often on uh, computers so let's test that extract extract and I'm just going to press uh, same over here extract extract both eyes and let's start and again, uh, let's see which one is doing faster. This is a real world stuff that we are doing. And uh, here, both are actually close to each other. Again, it's not a very big file, guys. 222 MB file. And we are going to run the R20 benchmarks also. But just wanted to give you an idea. Here, surprisingly, looks like the Intel is going to... No, almost this has caught up now, finally. 
so neck to neck in this test but let's see which one is doing faster uh, both are very close this one has an edge this has a faster ssd but anyways let's see wow this is going to be very very close looks inter 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 finished first on this one after that two seconds this one so here in the uh, decompression test uh, the core i7 went ahead by just about two seconds now let's do one more thing uh, let's run the cinebench r20 on both of them again we are running on battery power guys and let's see which one is uh, better this is the r20 test that we are doing r15 uh, we have already done that so uh, we are just going to run through this uh, what do you say cpu score on both i've just reset and i'm going to run on both of them and see again i've clicked that so let's click start and uh, hopefully it should start about one minute 30 seconds and looks like definitely the ryzen 7 is handling it uh, better of course because this has physical uh, uh, eight cores this one has four cores so yeah definitely the ryzen will finish it way faster and of course it will get a higher cpu score so as you can see i'm just showing you the timings guys so that you can also replicate finished about one minute 55 seconds got a score of 2728 so finally uh this is almost going to get finished as you can see it's 445 hopefully it finishes in that uh, still going for about 450 i think so yeah just finished you could say 447 uh, but look at the scores guys uh, this got a cpu score of 1031 and this got a score of 2728 so way way faster i would say and we can see also in the time this finished that benchmark in about one minute 55 seconds this almost took about four minutes 46 seconds so as you can see in the ROS CPU, definitely the new Ryzen, uh, what do you say, 4700U is way faster. Guys, one more practical test and this is uh, DaVinci Resolve video editing software. I've installed on both the machines. This is the Core i7 and this is the Ryzen 7. And uh, this is the same 4K video clip that uh, we had. So um, uh, the 4K in the timeline. And I've just added this text layer throughout the video Core i7 on this one and Ryzen 7. And now we'll render this and see which one is doing a better job in uh, video exporting. And I'm just going to hit... Uh, what do you say start render on both of these start start and we have started so i'm going to set this also and this will be an interesting test uh, technically uh, the me laptop with the core i7 has the dedicated uh, nvidia mx350 gpu uh, whereas the ryzen 7 does not have any external or dedicated gpu it's just using the internal vega graphics but it'll be interesting to uh, test to see uh, which one does uh, faster in terms of video editing these are the stuff that we you'll use uh, for regular stuff so just wanted to give you an idea about video rendering guys it's just been five minutes since we started this rendering job and for this uh, intel core i7 it has rendered one minute 48 seconds worth of video uh, but here as you can see uh, this has rendered already two minutes 57 seconds worth of video and here it says it has completed 43 percent of the rendering year 25 so again significant uh, lead to the ryzen 7 as of now let's see how much time does it take to complete so guys it's been 12 minutes 20 seconds and here this has completed the ryzen 1 98 percent and this is still at 54 percent this still says 10 more minutes and this is going to be almost done now two seconds so this is done so this finished uh, in 12 minutes 37 seconds this is completed the job as you can see it's finished this still is about 10 minutes left so this is still at 56 so as you can see considerably slower even in real world uh, video rendering results so it's uh, 22 minutes and uh, this is at 99 percent should be finished anytime now this is just finished 22 minutes uh, 20 seconds and one thing i noticed the fan was blowing quite a bit and this has become quite hot also so let's look at the temperature as you can see near the keyboard it's almost 44 it went 43.9 so yes this is getting considerably a, a lot warmer also uh, the ryzen 7 actually did not get that hot uh, and uh, 
again that is uh, due to also when now this I, I think so the battery life is falling on this one that's why it's going to the battery saver mode but let's look at the battery level on uh, this one now it is just going down I guess now it's just at 19% battery whereas this one is still at about 58% uh, so again yeah in terms of battery life also I feel uh, because uh, this was struggling quite a bit this is consuming a lot more battery. in real life I would say the Ryzen 7 should give you anywhere about one and a half to two hours of extra battery life compared to this one so we got some very interesting results uh, in fact in all the tests in fact the uh, Ryzen 7 uh, beat out this uh, Intel uh, laptop and I was surprised also in terms of battery life the Ryzen 7 actually performed uh, better and as I've told you I asked one of my friends who has the Ryzen 5 4500U to also run some of the tests so I have the score so as you can see from this screenshot lower the value it is better that means we are able to complete the task faster of uh, what do you say that 4k video to 1080 in just 7 minutes to 15 seconds and uh, the Intel one took uh, actually 16 minutes 35 seconds so more than 100% uh, longer which was very surprising but the big surprise to me personally was the Ryzen 5 it's a 6 core processor that completed the task in 8 minutes 29 seconds so even the Ryzen 5 uh, in that handbrake test is faster than the Intel Core i7 laptop uh, video editing for the Ryzen 7 in 12 minutes 33 uh, 36 seconds whereas Intel took almost 22 uh, minutes uh, so again almost about 90 percent time longer now if we move to some other benchmark results uh, uh, here are the benchmark results that we saw and again as you can see uh, even the Ryzen 5 which is very surprising to me beat out the Intel Core i7 in both the R15 and the R20 benchmark so uh, when you're doing some heavy tasks, definitely these new Ryzen processors, uh, the 4000 series, the 4500U or even the 4700U perform very well. And we saw in real world results also, they performed so good. I was surprised. Yes, I always thought that the Ryzen 7 will beat out the Intel Core i7. But I was surprised that even the Ryzen 5 is sort of beating the Intel Core i7 laptop in a heavy tasks. Uh, so definitely I would say uh, this year the new Ryzen processors are very fast and guys again Intel also has some higher end processors for example the H series of their processors that are used in workstations uh, those are actually 8 cores and all those things uh, like that for example the regular core i7 max out at about 4 cores uh, the advantage with the Ryzen 7 is that it has physical 8 cores the Ryzen 5 had physical 6 cores uh, whereas this new Intel H series of processors do have those cores i'll try to test it out but amd also has those high performance head series processors so again stay tuned for that but again if you're looking for a normal sized what do you say u series laptops that generally we get in the price range of 40 to 80 thousand i do feel as of now the new ryzen 5 or even the ryzen 7 uh, specifically the 4500 4, u and the 45 uh, 4700u do perform significantly better than the Intel Core i7. Anyways guys, uh, what do you think about this? Very interesting results that we uh, got. I was also a little bit surprised. But anyways, these were the raw uh, figures that I got. Anyways guys, that's it for now. And if you guys are still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. I'll definitely try to get one of these new Ryzen 5 4500U laptops and test it out. And also, I'll try to get the new, what do you say, Intel H-series high performance laptops and also test that out in the future. Anyways guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care guys.